This bitch really got me up at 4 a.m. <laughs> My name is Delilah, if you don't know already, today we're going to be doing Cassie's 4 a.m. routine. She is seriously doing this for a man. For a man? But we're going to be doing it for ourselves. We're not going to be doing it for no man. Even though I got a man, this is too much for a man, okay? So we're going to be doing it for ourselves. I want to start out with taking a shower, but first what we're going to do, and I'm going to do this my way. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy every single thing that she used off of Amazon, no. Like, I have what I have here and it's gonna work, okay? So, we're gonna start with exfoliating the body. We're gonna use the Skin Fix Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub. It's a pre-shower and in-shower chemical and manual exfoliant. It's 5% glycolic acid and 5% lactic acid. It's vegan and cruelty-free. What you wanna do, I'll read the directions for you. Before you turn on the shower, dry rub this creamy non-drip scrub onto your dry skin from chin Oh, I'm not putting this on my chin. From chin to toes, turn the water on, massage onto skin using circular motions and rinse. Use up to three times a week. Follow with resurface AHA BHA renewing cream to gently exfoliate and deeply hydrate skin daily. Cool. So yes, let's get to scrubbing. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like stocking. Just joshing. I'm gonna spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo. So cool, he'll fool with the shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. You can put a genie of Vincenzo. Me and my amigos got that free smoke on the West Coast. Yeah, I'm talking about pre rolls. Dark hair bitch, she look like she go. She do. Hometown hero, feeling myself, can't murder my ego. She heard my deep stroke, she said, babe, does it hurt when I deep though? Certified freak hoe, hang around us and she learning my lingo. Back then, wasn't worried about me though. In the gym, trying to work on my free throw. Goddamn, spending money at the club like Sam's. Yes, ma'am, she a little freak on cam. But she don't put this on the ground. Little boys trying to diss on the ground. Hey, I can't switch on the fan. Shit's hot, hit the switch on the fan. This where my head is. I feel resentment from every direction. Even some homies be wearing expressions. I be discouraged from sharing my blessings. We used to share a connection. Now it just feels like it's wearing and stretching. I'm getting real sick of taking advice from people that never can stare at reflections. Somewhere in there is a lesson. Y'all ain't evolving, it's very depressing. I'm at the club with the basketball team. Me and the Cardinals are sharing a section. Gotta cherish the present. I'm drinking water and wearing protection. Got a career and I'm. I did feel a little bit of texture on my skin. So I'm just gonna go over with my Foreo little Luna play. It's good to exfoliate the skin. This is really this is really good if you're allergic to any like micro beads that are in exfoliants. It's just the texture and the vibration of and the vibration of this that really helps to exfoliate the skin. Can't wait to do a mask because I'm I am having a little bit of a breakout. Nothing new. Oh, I just popped my pimple. Let's dry off our skin and then we're gonna do a mask. I'm gonna do a different mask than Cassie's because the mask that she used was more of like a, it was more like an ice pack mask. Um, but I don't need that right now. I need, I need something that's gonna unclog my pores and just really clean my skin and get rid of this acne and texture. I'm gonna use the infamous blood mask from The Ordinary. This is a AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It's a 10 minute exfoliant peel. I only use, I don't use this every week, even though I should. I don't use this every week. Um, I try not to do so much with my skin. When I do a lot, that's when I start to break out. So I am breaking out a little bit on my forehead area. Very impressive. Some people call it a scary obsession. I like to call it a passion. I can't be sitting relaxing. PG, we getting some traction. I'm at the venue, it's packed. I'm digging her accent. I got a BB Simon belt on me, and she trying to get it. I'm passing. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she Latin. Got my own flow, and I'm about to get a patent. Brand new sheets for the bed they sat. 
Y'all wasn't tuned in back then. My swag, they keep jacking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. Ooh, ooh, she is burning. Bitch. Oh, Cassie, I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, why did I sign up for this? It's okay. It's gonna go away. It's gonna go away. Woo! Set the timer on for 10 minutes. Oh my God. Oh, my upper lip is burning. 10 minutes. Oh! All right, it's been 10 minutes. Time to rinse this off. Oh, and make sure you rinse your face with, it wasn't warm, but it was a little, it was a little cooler than warm, but it wasn't cold. Whew. To the vanity. So I'm gonna see if I can extract some of these pimples because they look like they're ready to come out. Yep. This is just an extractor from Sephora. It's really cool. It has two ends and then when you unscrew this, it has the little sharp bit right here to pop any pimples so you won't have to force it. This one is about ready. Yep, look at that bitch coming out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oof. That one was gross. Now, I'm taking my Shiseido cotton pads. And we're going to try this new toner by Freckle. By Freck. I'm going to try this new toner from Freck. I've been using it for a little while now, for a few days. It's the Cactus Water Cleansing Lactic Acid Toner. I love the packaging. It's so bougie. It's heavy. It looks like a fragrance. I'm just going to put this on my Shiseido cotton pad. Let's go over my skin with it. Now, we're going to use our serum. This is the Biosan Squalene Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I have been using this for... Maybe like two weeks now. I've been using this obviously for my dark spots and my hyperpigmentation. For eye cream, we're going to use the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud by Peter Thomas Roth. It doesn't come in this size. This is just a sample that was given to me. So today, I'm going to put a little extra of everything because I'm not really in the mood to put oils on my face. Or should I? I don't know. For moisturizer, we're using Belief Aqua Balm. I like using the Aqua Balm instead of the True Cream because I am combo skin so i can't have anything too thick that's gonna clog my pores now let's put a little bit of lip balm this is from dior is in the color number seven so it's just a tinted lip balm. I'm gonna go find my face oil, the one I use sometimes, only when I'm gonna use my facial tools. I use the, what is it? The Inkyless Rosehip Oil. I'll be right back. Now we're gonna use the Rosehip Oil. This is from the Inkyless. I'm just gonna put like one or two drops on my skin because this is really concentrated. You don't need much. And this is really good also for brightening. I like the way it smells too. It smells like tea. It feels so good on the skin. I love using this hip oil on my face. I'm gonna listen to some classical music while I do this.
hopefully these eye patches didn't dry out because I have not opened these at all. So I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth um, Hydrogel Eye Patches. I have the Cucumber Detox and I have the 24 Karat Gold Eye Patches. So this one is more for, this one claims more for firming, this one is more detox. But it does have firming properties in this too. So, and I never tried this one, so we're gonna try this. We're gonna lotion our body. I'm using the Sol de Janeiro Bone Deal Bright Cream. That Skin Fix body exfoliator, it was my first time using it and oh my god, my skin feels so smooth, so soft. Like I noticed it when I got out the shower, yes. I'm noticing it a lot more now that I'm putting lotion on my skin. My skin feels really soft. Usually when I get out the shower, I'm like my skin still feels really dry but my skin ain't even all that ashy just my knees but it's not even all that ashy and it feels really soft and smooth I love that so I'm just gonna let this chill on my face and then we're gonna go get ready because even though Cassie was doing all of this skincare she was scrubbing her skin off she was buffing out those wrinkles she was wearing a whole bunch of masks curling her hair all that shit but the only reason why nate noticed her and acknowledged her a bit was because it wasn't what she did to her skin it was how she looked on the outside and she looked like maddie so after this we're gonna turn into a bad bitch The makeup is gonna be, oh yeah, I threw on this hair. This is from Love Me Hair. I'm gonna style it after I do my makeup, but I just did that off camera really quick. Today's makeup look is gonna be very simple. In this season of Euphoria, they went a lot more natural, a lot more raw. There isn't, oh, there isn't a lot of, there isn't a lot of heavy makeup going on, especially with foundation. It's more just like a pop of color with the eye the main focus is liner i'm not gonna lie like this uh, even though this routine is a little excessive and it kind of isn't it just feels like a self care day but she's doing it every day it feels really good like my skin feels radiant glowy and soft like i feel really good i want to start out with this gucci serum primer it's really really good it's nice and hydrating it feels silky on the skin and it has a very nice fragrance to it nice and floral but it feels so amazing on the skin it gives like a nice it's a hydrating velvety finish if that makes any type of sense so since the makeup is very minimal soft super natural makeup i'm gonna use my merit complexion stick in amber i can actually go in with this foundation no problem i don't have to be scared because it's very lightweight it's medium coverage i'm gonna use my merit brush I feel like this is gonna be the most quickest makeup look that I do today because even though I am doing a little graphic eye I might even add a little bit of gems too I feel like this is gonna be very quick I'm not gonna apply another layer because again we are going very natural I'm actually gonna go in with my beauty blender to press everything in a lot better with the nearest dewy uh, facial spray or setting spray that I have this is the fresh vitamin nectar glow water you don't have to use this just use whatever that's gonna give you 
a glow for the skin. With my concealer, I'm using one size. It's gonna go over any imperfections, any dark spots that the foundation didn't really cover. concealer and with one that's slightly brighter than me I don't want to go with anything too drastic I want it to be close to my skin tone because again not too much is going on with the skin it's just very natural <music> bit of definition like I saw like shadows I didn't really see bronzer or anything like that these products from Merit are perfect because they blend so easily and they kind of just disappear into the skin it's nothing too like heavy you know it's not so pigmented it just gives you that right amount of definition we're gonna do a bit of blush I'm going in with the cream blush from Merit in Mood. This is one of my favorite blushes right now. It's like it just amazes me because it looks really dark, but when you put it on, it's just the perfect pink color. I love that for me. So pretty. So yeah. Um, in this season, Cassie was very dewy, very flush. I was reading a little article on um, on what the producer was feeling when it came to the makeup. And I was reading how they wanted this season to be very raw. They didn't want it to be heavy, glam makeup. And with Cassie, they made her very dewy and flushed because she was always so overwhelmed with what was going on. And... She was flustered and she had anxiety, so she was always like looking a little sweaty, a little, you know, red in the face. So we're just gonna put a little extra because of that. Wanna look, we wanna look a little flushed, a little bit on the nose. I'm actually gonna set my face a little bit because I just don't wanna be that dewy. Cause she was dewy, but you could still see the natural like madness of her skin i don't want to be like overly dewy so i've been using this givenchy powder this is like my third time using it and let me tell you i am freaking obsessed like i don't know how i feel about other powders at the moment because this it's a game changer like this is crazy this is crazy i'm using the shade number five and it's perfect for me it's blurring i love that there's that it has the color correction in it so i don't need to go in with a compact like i don't have to go in with another color powder in certain areas that show up gray when i use a translucent powder like this powder is so lit so lit like i understand why it was on tiktok Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of this highlight from Merit as well. I'm gonna use my baby uh, beauty blender and I'm just gonna rub it and just on the high points right here. Even though we apply the powder, we still wanna balance it out. We don't wanna look too matte. Okay, like that. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna move on to the brows and eyes. Actually, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna film my brows off camera if you guys want an updated brow routine let me know I do have a supermodel brow tutorial already so for the eye I'm going to 
use my Hindash palette. We're gonna go into feel and a little bit of love. And we're just gonna slightly wing this out. I'm gonna do a wing. I'm gonna use my Zanessa Myricks Color Fix in Chocolate. So now I'm going with Carrot Top. This is another Danessa Myricks color fix. I was, I was looking for my other Danessa Myricks um, liquid paint in Milky Way, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use a little bit of this By Mario Master Crystal Reflector in Quartz. And I'm just going to put that on my lid just for a little bit of shimmer. Well, glitter. I'm going to apply some mascara and then I'm probably going to add a little bit more blush and then we're gonna apply some lip gloss i'm trying this new let me move this i'm trying this new mascara from rare beauty i hear it's very very good oh wow it's not getting clumpy at all oh okay i think this is my go-to mascara I don't even feel like putting on lashes. Nope. I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush now. I'm using um, the Patrick Ta palette. So, I've been dying to try this product. This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil and I got it in the shade Cherry. I wanna get it in the pink shade cause I tried it on a little bit and oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, this is the only one I have. I'm going with OG. This is the Sephora Collection Molasses Lip Liner. This feels so nice on the lip. So just to add a little, ooh, just to add a little bit of that glow, I'm going to go back in with my Fresh Vitamin Neck. I'm gonna style my hair too. I was trying to look for my flexi rods and I couldn't find any. Oh my god, I'm still recording. What the fuck? I'm gonna use a little bit of gel. Alright, if you guys, I'm sorry that you guys can't really see my whole outfit because you know it's the, you know it's not the phone ratio, but this is the outfit that I picked out. This is a two-piece matching set from Fashion Nova. Let me try to move back a little bit so you guys can see. I love how it has like the little detail right here, like a little. Runchy, scrunchy thingy. But anyways, 
this is the final look you guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching leave a beautiful positive comment down below keep watching my videos so i can be a full-time content creator and i keep creating magic for you guys and i'll see you guys soon